And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mirror Lux. What we're doing here is we're playing Lux with Bandle City and playing, you know, a deck with a lot of value generators and uh, blockers and, and creative cards and things like that. Get lots of spells and with Lux as a top end finisher. It start, this started off whenever we were building this this morning as Heimerdinger Lux, um, but I wanted to play, I also, I want to do Heimerdinger Lux and Mirror Mage. Um, you know, because Mirror Mage can copy all sorts of things, including the main thing that Mirror Mage and Lux can do together is if you create a final spark, you cast a final spark, Mirror Mage will double that final spark. That seemed, seemed pretty cool. So I wanted to do those all together, but then, you know, it's like, well, we need some Radiant Guardians in here, and it just kind of felt like it was getting too clunky at the top end. So we're actually not going to play Heimerdinger. We're going just Lux as our only champion, and I think that should be okay. We have a low curve, lots of... Uh, cheap cards and lots of cards that replace themselves and uh, you know hopefully we can still have a good top end with Lux Mirror Mage so besides besides that final spark Mirror Mage of course doubles up any of these cards that are created uh, so that could give us a really so Mirror Mage is basically going to be a champion also it's our like secondary champion uh, we could be going wide with a lot of these things and uh, we're going to have like these Vanguard Sergeants in here for example this card very good with Lux because you create a final spark but even without Lux, if we have like a Mirror Mage, it gets doubled. So you're making uh, two uh, plus three plus three. So you're giving everything plus six plus six. If we have Lux and Mirror Mage in play, and you know we create one of those four Demacias, we could like double four Demacia because of Mirror Mage, which means we make two Final Sparks, and then each one of those Final Sparks is doubled. You know, like that kind of stuff could go crazy. So I want to just try that out. Um, you know, so let's see how this does. You know, Mage Seeker Conservator, same kind of thing as the Vanguard Sergeant. We'll just be making some random six plus cost spells. They could be pretty cool. Who knows? Let's see. So, um, probably going to be playing some long games. We'll get to it. We got the spooky board with Halloween coming up. Okay, Leeson, uh, Zoe. So, the, the good thing about this matchup for us is that we are playing three copies of mini morph and we want all the mini morphs possible i'm thinking about sending these two back we'll keep eh. it just this doesn't really seem like a mage or conservator matchup one where that card matters too much and i wanted to find like pokey stick for zoe zoe is scary good. Um, but the lecturing Yorl with the poison darts could be really good against Zoe. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? It's me. It's me. And then I figure the trinket trade is kind of always a good card to keep. No protection. I was expecting, you know, Pale Cascade or Twin Disciplines or something like that, but no, they just oh, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Could mean New Zoe. Alright, so the gifts are going to start creating Eye of the Dragons. What is gained when we return malevolence? Just drink a trade. Okay, let's make written and stars cost six. Zenith Blade, eh? Good you know it, I picked the wrong mushrooms. I 
got a lot of cards over there. I feel like this is going to be a long game. We're going to need to draw more mini morphs because I'm sure we can have, handle the first lease in, but can, can we handle the second or the third? Ooh, wow, two puff caps right away on the first card. That was crazy. I could definitely see just passing here and not using that mana. Um. Mirror Mage. Yeah, they're going to have the deal three lecturing Yordle. I thought that they, they may be doing that. Oh, okay. Or that also actually makes sense. Alright, let's kill one Eye of the Dragon. Hopefully that's the last eye of the dragon. Huh. So we make this could be a discard two after Mirror Mage. That's kind of cool. Sen's already leveled up. That's just what I'm worried about. I'm worried about, like, I play Lecturing Yordle, they play Lee Sin. I guess we'd still have many more for afterwards, but... Alright. Pass the round. They didn't play two spells. So that's good. The dragon spirit awakens. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Those are good cards to get rid of. I don't know, should I double for Demacia? No. Let me just attack. That was a pretty cool Trixie Tentacles. Act free of doubt. So the thing is, I don't have that for the next, you know, if they have another lease in. We have a concerted strike, I suppose. That thing's about to be elusive. Deal one to anything. Yeah. 
We have double strength in numbers. Yeah, it'd be nice to have... Sorry, it'd be really nice to have a Lux. Like, one Lux and this would be amazing. Okay. So we're going to insert a strike. You and you. Yeah, we, we were suddenly Carmen Marauders for a little bit, not anymore. I think Deny is really likely, you know, like I go Strength in Numbers or Fort Amasia and they just have Deny. I think that's very likely. Let's kind of see what we get here. I guess Trixie Tentacles. We're not looking good now. We've kind of we've kind of just ran out of cards. Uh, why would the three two not block Electron Yordle? Master yourself, master your enemy. Maybe that discards the Zenith Blade. Oh, that is going to discard the Zenith Blade. Oh no, okay, never mind. It, it was like highlighting it. I guess it's just because that was the only one we knew. Many more? Oh, I thought that was many more up there for a second. Because it's behind my camera. I don't know, might as well just play this card right now. Come on, mini morph. Mini morph. Well, we got the second best card. I enter your spirit. Three puff caps. I guess we could open attack. Cause they have drawn a lot of cards. Oh, they do have a lot of puff caps. Hmm. I, all right. So my plan here was spiders, then four Demacia. That was my plan. I think I just like open attack more. I will not hold back. I'm taking four. Right, that's so just fine. It's not fine anymore. I just I don't want to give them the information about this Brood Awakening card. They have the information about the Ford Mossy. The Brood Awakening is better to play. Yeah, they had deny it. I figured. Yeah, that was that was kind of what they needed. They needed both of those. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. They say they still had more puff caps than cards, so 
Here to get shot. The superior tactic is to never give up. Okay, we got a Bandle Tree deck. That's probably bad for us. We don't have any way to get rid of the Bandle Tree. Do we? At least we'll have to maybe create some way to get rid of the Bandle Tree. GG, Snake. Good games. Our, my lecturing yordles really carried me with all those poison darts. Take a look. I don't know. I should look in the mirror. I don't know how we find something that gets rid of Bandle Tree, but we're gonna have to just kind of. I think we're gonna have to be aggressive here. You know, like have Final Sparks do Nexus damage, Poison Darts Nexus damage, all this kind of stuff. I think that's my best course of action. Oh, I think deny is perfectly fine. Yeah, I don't I don't have any angst against deny at all. I don't have any problems with that card. I think it's good to have counterplay. And interaction. Maybe I should have blocked that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Lee either. You know, like a lot. Of, you know, I'm. I perfectly fine with uh, Lee Sin. Or sorry, sorry, with Deny. But yeah, Lee Sin. I don't. The thing about complaining about Lee Sin, for me, is I don't have any suggestions on how to make it better or like what they should do with Lee Sin. I don't I don't really know. I don't have like a great suggestion. So I, I don't wanna I don't wanna complain about it without having a great suggestion for the card. Lee Sin makes me want them not to change many more. Because if they change many more then Lee Sin is gonna be a problem. of mini morph I hope they don't have one because we could play like this ricochet and do one five randomly five times and then also create a final spark and like maybe clear up a bunch of stuff potentially otherwise I think it's a solid plan let's hit poppy for sure the rest I don't really care that much about but we got to hit Poppy. all right good no mini morph and we hit poppy and we hit that wow that was just like the perfect outcome. That's <laughs> that's why you have Battle Academia luck, so you can get those kind of outcomes. That worked out. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. Boo! I wanted that Radiant Guardian. I definitely wanted that Radiant Guardian. You know, my plan was next round, you know, block the lecturing yordle dies, we play Radiant Guardian. From all the regions we are one. Illuminate the enemy. Uh. So I think it's worth having Lux take two to clear something off the board considering we're at twelve. Like I know they're probably gonna be winning with Bandle Tree. But again, we have to do stuff. There's like nothing to find to get rid of Bandle Tree, is there? Um, 
Okay, I could take a chain vest. So that's two mana. Three, four, five, six. Three mana right now. I'm gonna play this hidden pathways. And they're already at eight. Buster shot was the last card. Man, good hand opponent, good hand. I guess, okay. Are we playing Lux? Yeah, we're probably playing Lux. I don't know how it's gonna work. I mean, I guess, like, I I can kill them next round, but I don't think I can kill them this round. So like, if they if they're able to play two different regions this round, we lose. We know they just created one of them. I just have to hope they don't have the other. Oh, they drew Fizz. I really hope they created a, a Bilgewater card. Yeah, I really hope they killed create a Bilgewater card because I can't kill them this round. They're at eleven. That's not gonna work. The only way that would work is if they specifically created a one mana, one or two mana thing. But that that's probably just not so likely. We're we're I'm not gonna go that route. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Still a good sign. That they made a, a bilge water card and they don't have the other region. What's I don't know. What's the other region? Ionia. They made a build water card. Ooh, okay, we can get this. You wanted rough. Okay, so that's okay. Yeah, so that goes to one out of six now. So then this is gonna be three. That many morphs a problem. Am I gonna hit Mini Morph twice? Hopefully. Good. One more time. Oh, we didn't hit the other time. The other time. One more time. We need that many more. I guess I can't really Mini Morph this round and then also play this Blossoming Blade. Okay, so yeah, they can't even play out Blossom Blade. Oh, but I can't make another final spark. 
but still they can't play anything else. So they're kind of dead, right? I think they're dead. One mana short. All right, GG's. Mirror Lux 2 and oh, so close. So close. They only needed one more region, but we we got aggressive and we won. Yeah, that was a crazy game. That was a crazy game. Oh no. I'm not as confident in us winning this one. We need a Radiant Guardian. But I probably need all these two mana spells because we just want lots and lots of one and two mana spells also, Radiant Guardian. I I don't know. I've been pretty impressed with this Lecturing Yordle. I wonder if we should be going three Lecturing Yordle to Vanguard Sergeant the other way around there. <laughs> it's like my parents used to say in softball, almost winning is the same as losing. <laughs> the desert by my side. Demacia can create some really good spells, as you saw there. The Persistence is key. We have a low curve. Never it only awaited my so return. that's all good. Next time. Eat up that thing. So I think it stops killing everything. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They have they the hand. Our lands do not take well to intruders. So they're tapped out. Your Emperor commands. Easy does it. Oh, but this is gonna let them attack again with the sand soldier. Right, it's that ephemeral doesn't go away. Always forward. I could have just I could have saved one health if I would have done it on the other thing. It is time. Yeah, now they get to. Okay, that didn't. That didn't work out very well. Equal to its power, so we're not going to be healing very much. Good mini Morphazir. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Probably gonna have to be many morphing his ear. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Where were you, Radiant Guardian? I mean, Tiana can kind of block forever. Crescent Strike's also nice, Aloof Traveler's also nice. I guess we'd take a loof trailer to get rid of a card from them. Whatever that is, it's not good for me. Good hand. You 
you dropped something. I dropped everything! That was not worth it. Looks like I'm ready. Bye-bye. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes! Gently, gently. <laughs> GG's are really a zero G. Two and one. Okay, so dragons. I'm not sure how we're gonna be doing against Aurelian Soul and everything like that. I don't I don't know if this is gonna be a good matchup for us. I think that we would rather face the aggro decks in general. Let's send these two back for now. We'll see. Yeah, we went 4-1 with Xerath Renekton. Buried Sun Disk. Doing its thing. Take a look at this. Aloof Travelers. That's good versus Aurelian Soul. I wouldn't have even minded... Yeah, I wasn't even going to mind... Um, Equinox. You know, Equinox on these would have been nice. Card's good. Another day guarding the walls. Equinox? No. These ones are not so good. I don't love Dragon Guard Lieutenant. That's of course a very good combination. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Okay, got rid of an Orlean Soul. That's good news. Bad news, of course, is they have this dragon blood Screeching Dragon and Shivana. Beneath the waves. This is a good Trixie Tentacles matchup. That's for sure, because all their cards are amazing. Yeah, landmarks are good, and that's that was a, a big part of our deck winning of our um, Zerath Renekton deck. Sorry, I forgot the name. <laughs> that won winning so much was having the four mana two four that could blow up landmarks because like all of our opponents were playing like landmark win conditions, and destroying landmarks was very important. I mean, can I can I wait till round eight before we play Trixie Tentacles? I mean, I guess we may have to. No. These dragons are just so big. They're just they're just too big. The Marcian soldier is worth ten foes. Now I take to the sky. Great draw. Great draw. Well, that was so great. Persistence is key. My God, Ordemarsia! Oh yeah, now they get this thing that can kill my mirror mage. 
this is just too much. This round star created a cataclysm. This just is not gonna go well for me. Okay, it's a real card. We need one more mana. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. When I click OK, and then I can still do stuff before damage, right? need to just take it because of Dragon's Clutch. Like, take it before they can play Dragon's Clutch. Like, I block, they, they Dragon's Clutch. Like, that challenge definitely was saying, hey, I have Dragon's Clutch. That's what I want to do, is play Dragon's Clutch. Let the light guide you. So, our hope is they have no... Okay, it's not much of a hope, obviously. But our hope is they have no fight spell currently in hand. You know, obviously they have that. But, like, no other one. No other fight spells. From the skies. There is nothing like that pain. So that's our hope. No fight spells. Because this could get crazy. Wow, they were... Yeah, alright. <laughs> Last card to Eclipse Dragon. Better, brighter than before. So I can either kill Shivana or Enviolus Vox plus Screeching Dragon. And I kind of feel like I have to kill Shivana. So if I kill Shivana, I guess then they get to play that. They get to attack with all those things. Oh, maybe I have to kill two different dragons. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to kill Shivana. Pretty crazy powerful, though. 
this combination of Lux and Mirror Mage. Because, like, we have no business being in this game at all, and we are still in the game. It's not over yet. Right? Or is it over? Maybe it's over. I don't know. I can't concert it when they have strafing strike. I have to wait for them to do that first, and then I can concert it. I kind of don't want a sharp sight. That card's burst speed. I gotta let this happen. No, they drew... They drew a fight spell? Well, that's the only way we lost, was them drawing a fight spell. Wow, what a draw. Yeah, that was their top deck, was a concerted strike. Seven, eight... And I'm one, one point of damage short from killing the Shivana. Two concerted strikes? Where do they? So our last two draws have been concerted strike, concerted strike. Seriously? Obviously, I want to play the mirror mage, but we can't if, if we want to stay alive. I need to, you know, kill these things. Two and two. Only one. <laughs> I guess there's not really any reason not to prank. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I guess that's why I couldn't prank. But actually, no, I was one. I was still one man short anyway. Yeah, so that, that was a mistake, me pranking there. Because if I... If I don't prank, I can sharp sight right here. If only, like, if only would have dealt one damage to the messenger or, or two to that thing, you know. Okay, wait, so we can still do this. We could draw a pokey stick. Single combat? That doesn't quite work because of judgment. Yeah, that was we we actually had stabilized so they just didn't have fight spells, but they just drew concert double concerted strike. Like those were their two top decks. We had stabilized this so they just didn't have fight spells. Kinda crazy. Cause we had no business being in that game. We had no business, but we could have actually won. Lux Mirror Mage was so powerful. Because if they don't have, if they don't have, if they just draw dragons and they just don't have a fight spell, like they, Lux Mirror Mage was going to be so powerful there. Because we we're, we we're about to, you know, if they don't have the fight spell, like we survive that combat, like what we were going to. We cast the Fortimacia, which makes two final sparks, which double up final sparks. Like they're, they're actually dead right there. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, 
chat says the double concert was God Gaming. Yeah, that was... That was pretty crazy. Even the one concerted strike we still had covered. Right? Because, we, you know, like, we were able to respond to that. We even had the one covered. It was the second one. Alright, I'm going to take the Fangs, go towards that life steal and Equinox life. I think I like that more than the Crescent Strike life. Yeah, it's going to be an Equinox matchup. I will pass and keep spell mana available. Or, like, you know, get spell mana. An auspicious season. Treasure Seeker. Next thing I know, I'm up to my britches and purple berries. All right, we're just going to shoot that and... Call it a, a round. An auspicious season. All right, we'll get to work with Lux. If we can wait till play, you know playing the fangs till after mirror mage, then we will have um, you yeah, know we'll get multiple of the fangs. Embrace the current or be swept away. The Mirai will never know fear again. Well, they'll probably know fear at some point. I can't tell you exactly when, but probably at some point. Keeps it difficult playing another Nami this round. Could waste a lot of mana. I guess I just let them play Nami. This will be a good okay. So now we know, yeah, now we know that we want to Electron Yordle attack. Getting their Starlet Seer value in while they can. This would be a good winter. They're gonna draw something pretty big. Good draw. Really good draw. Like the best draw. This mama is the beast mama. Mini morphs versus the buff deck. It's not gonna work out well for them. So playing the Bandle Commando, incentivizing them playing a spell proactively, getting a spell out of their hand to give the fizz elusive. So, you know, we just get rid of another spell from their hands. Um, could just simply block Fizz with Sharp Sight. And hold on to many more for after Mirror Mage. I know that's not, that's not a great trade for me, because we have Poison Darts that can take care of that. Sunburst is another good one. Silence. Things are coming up for us this game. Oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Opponent's waiting on me. I'm sorry. On 
I'm just gonna be casting the Mirror Mage this round. What's better than me? Lots of me. Lots of me. I'm gonna say this was a pretty cool deck. You know, we're about to be three and two, most likely. Most likely record. This was a pretty cool deck. Alright, where are you at? Okay, you're at zero. Which still be perfectly fine. We have one elusive blocker right now. We also have a sharp side so they can block another elusive body. The sing the single combat will get doubled up, so it'll be like a double fight. I do need bodies to die, so I have room for more for new bodies. Unless this thing gets. Let's make cookies. No interrupted. I'm not finished. Over here. Over. Ah, shuffle buttons. Okay, good. I was gonna say, oh, sorry, I was saying, like, unless this thing gets overwhelmed some random way, we shall be good. Alright, we're at three right now. This present strike is six. <laughs> Double the fangs. Not too concerned at all. Only two cards left in their hand. They have two, we have nine. I ain't afraid. Oh, a lot of three sisters. Five out of six. Oh, I guess maybe that wasn't the best. Cause now I don't, I don't have enough. I guess we have conservative strike mana. Cause you can assume that this one card is left to protect Fizz, and then we can conservative strike. I, I was gonna say that I don't have enough for some first. But. Alright, we need to we need to get like a four Demacia kill one time. Gotta go with the flow. I guess technically Sunburst would be the better card to play here. But it's fine. I wanna do I just wanted to do this four Demacia one time. Double four Demacia that makes double final spark. I guess technically, you know, double Sunburst would have been better. And yeah, there's the Battle Fury. And they go all in. Sharp side on both, just in case. So you never know. <laughs> and 
now you can cast Final Spark now, even if they don't have any units. That's a new change they made. Just to be hitting the Nexus. Each one of those double up. The superior tactic is to never give up. GG's. Yeah, you gotta say Mirror Mage is the new karma. Basically, I mean, because, you know, Mirror Mage, you know, you just get a better region. You know, you get to play Bandle City where you have Mini Morph and all these awesome cards in Bandle City. And that's just kind of a better region to be in than Ionia. Ionia gives you better life steal. Um, but doesn't really give you better spells and better like early blockers and stuff and you don't get mini morph And so they just you know mini morph plus Lux is just so good um, And you know some mirror mage is just gonna be the new karma for you So not too bad. It's also you know like mirror mage is level up karma around eight You have to wait till around ten before you have leveled up karma And then you can do other things like as we saw there like we were able like you know getting double otterpus That you know like that we made otterpus get double otterpus with mirror mage was pretty pretty big so like we'd spend one mana attune two mana back you know and we'd gain mana that way that was important that one game against dragons that we almost stabilized but they had the lucky top decks of the of double concerted strike even if only one of those was concerted strike they had to both be the fight spell but anyway there there we go that was uh that was pretty good though i was really impressed with lux and mirror mage together i really was you know um you know we lost to some just some crazy stuff. You know, like really Azir, when they have like a great hand, like you know, really Azir is really tough to stop. Didn't have that Radiant Guardian there, but they did, you know, they did have bounce spells and stuff. But um, and then Dragons had an awesome hand. I was very impressed with the lecturing Yordles in our deck. I think they looked awesome. I think I would go to th uh, two Vanguard Sergeant, three lecturing Yordle. The Sergeant with the four Demacia is cool and it's a good early blocker, but it's uh, you know it's much more difficult to set up. And those poison darts are kind of always good. So I think that that's one small change I would make is just get a third lecturing Yordle in there. Uh, but besides that, probably keep everything else about the same, I think. I think everything else I was pretty happy with. I could see maybe playing another, like, single combat, maybe, but maybe not. No, probably not. Yeah, I was I was very happy with the deck. I think uh, I think it looked good. And, you know, you're looking for a Lux deck. You know, Lux now costs five mana. Definitely give this version of Bandle Lux with mirror mage a try you're basically playing karma lux but you get a lot better region with bandle city for this style of deck than ionia especially because of mini morph we saw mini morph be a big reason why we we're able to hang in games and mini morph with lux making that final spark is awesome but that's gonna be it here for mirror lux so those of y'all watching later on youtube let me know let me know how it goes for you if you try it out let me know and of course as always thanks for watching and puppy, puppy's gonna come say bye. Oh, there, there we go. So puppy's gonna say bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate that, and so does puppy. Y'all are the best. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and uh, watching the videos. Um, there we go. And I'll see you for the next one.